Mr. Joseph Mendonca, please. I, I am Joe Mendonca. Uh, I'm serving my first term, full term on the city council. I've actually been on there twice before for short stints, several years on the school committee, so I should be familiar to most of you. Uh, this topic today was like out of my campaign literature from two years ago, so it was uh, almost perfect. I mean, I was advocating infrastructure improvements and uh, a reorganization of inspectional services, which did take place. It's not perfect yet, it's a work in progress, but some of the things that are wrong with it would have been wrong with it anyway. We're just moving forward. The people in inspectional services do have the state waivers and they will be certified or they'll be out of a job. So it behooves them to get certified. Uh, as far as the infrastructure improvements, right now they're improving the downtown portion of Central Street, removing those cobblestones that made it a roller coaster ride. Uh, it's still a little bit rough but it's, uh, it's gonna be improvement as they move forward. The Amoresco project is uh, many energy improvements throughout the city, uh, through, uh, at, in the city's buildings. Uh, the, is we now have a capital plan so that we can invest in our buildings, infrastructure, things that we need, and plan ahead. And we now have uh, strategic goals, and one of those things we're doing there is to get the unaccepted streets. Almost half our streets are unaccepted. Get them accepted so we can get chapter 90. And one of the things in common from all these things, or most of them, is we didn't have to raise taxes to do that. MRSCO pays for itself. Central Street was out of additional chapter 90 funds. And uh, the capital plan got us new vehicles without spending extra tax money. So, I am Joe Mendonca. I'll be number four on ballot, and I will need your support. Seth Mendonca. Uh, quickly, thank uh, the neighborhood groups for having this forum. I didn't do so before, so thank you. Uh, there's been a lot of negative press about inspectional services, and I've been bashing them as well as everyone else, but there is something they're starting to do now that should help. They're finally going around and doing regular inspections of multifamily homes that weren't being done before. Unfortunately, it just started, so it's gonna take three to five years for the whole cycle to complete and come back around. So we do hope to see a lot more citations uh, and improvements to those properties where it's needed. Uh, I'm also like to see improvements, to continue improvements in our infrastructure. After we get the new bridge on University Ave, all of our river crossings will have been renovated since the Rock Bridge was put in place. And it's time to get a newer, wider bridge. Now, the city doesn't do that, but we need to advocate that to the state to get it done. Gentleman Donson, number four on the list. 